Good day, viewers. Walter here. Thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog today. Touch base on a few subjects I wanted to mention. Uh, we'll start out with... Uh, you'll notice I haven't done any videos outside here lately. Uh, and I will get back to my outside projects. But I've been going to the doctor quite a bit here lately, trying to find out why my left leg is swelling up so much. I went to one doctor family to the place where we usually go and they put me on Eliquis blood thinner in addition to my other medications that I take for my CHF um, because of the results of some blood tests that they did in their lab work said I, I might be more prone to get blood clots or something and that might be what's causing the swelling in my leg every night sometimes i takes me about all night long to get sleep for having to run to the potty a lot. Um, but I went to the heart doctor the other day and saw the different doctor in there. And he said, and I told him I was taking the eloquence, and he said, quit taking that stuff right now. I said, wait a minute, one of your doctors got to get together on what to do. That other doctor called me and told me, under no circumstances should I stop taking it. You know, you're telling me to stop. So he did a, requested all the medical records from the other doctor. And he said, go ahead and continue the eloquence for now. And he's probably going to take me off of it when he gets um, a chance. In the meantime, they've done two different scans, ultrasound scans on my leg looking. I went in today and had another one done. Had one done two days ago. Had to go back Wednesday for the result. One blood test test if you got any clots and they didn't notice any. The test I took today tells what direction your blood is flowing. What that does, I don't know. But that's just a little bit of a medical update on me. In general, I think I'm doing a lot better with my leg as far as being able to get around. I've been practicing walking with a, a walking stick, but I still depend on my walker quite a bit. And that's enough on that subject. You'll notice that I haven't done a whole lot of bird videos since I got injured. And um, just hadn't been able to get out and do, you know, do my garden videos and other things, including bird watching. So that really got curtailed this year. Uh, I began this video showing you this hat. It's a gift from a viewer. It's from the Bird Watchers General Store in uh, Orleans, Massachusetts, which is up near Cape Cod. And they were in this little uh, Bird Watchers General Store. I looked up their website online. And they got everything you can think of for birds there. Books, bird houses, bird supplies, you name it. They got it. And gifts and other things uh, related to bird watching. So I thought it was pretty cool of them to send me this hat. Well, in conjunction with the hat, and they know who they are. They don't want to be mentioned, but I'm going to mention it a little bit anyway. I got some of the greatest viewers on YouTube sent me this shirt and on the back it's got a picture of a bird watcher on the front it's got the gen bird watcher general store emblem and it's it looks like it would be too small for my young idea so when I took it out of the package contrary to Mary was in the room I said here you can wear this and handed it to her. When I handed it to her, um, a mis mystery item fell out. It fell out of this shirt. I think it was rolled up inside the shirt or folded anyway. It's the long black sock. It is a very nice looking brand new sock. Um, and it says, Ireland on it. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they were bagging this package up 
to send me these two items. They had mentioned earlier in the year before I got injured that they were going to be sending me something, and they finally got around to sending it. But I would imagine this sock has a mate somewhere up in Massachusetts. So I wouldn't be surprised if it finds its way back home looking for its partner. Anyway, uh, Bill and Deb, friends of mine, and fellow YouTubers and viewers of this channel, I thank you very much for your gifts. I really thank you all are the greatest. Okay, what other subjects I want to touch on today? Uh, I've got a link I'm going to put in my video today. I know I grew up in Florida and I went through different hurricanes and stuff. So I know the damage that can be sustained. A lot of people are hurting in Florida uh, from the damage from the storm. One of them is our viewer. He is one of our viewers, the Walner family. So I'm going to put a link down in the description of this video. You might want to consider donating to them if you haven't already donated to some other cause down in Florida. It's, um, I don't know how GoFundMe pages work, but I agree. I have no problem. I have no problem sharing this link to their GoFundMe page. They're also uh, Facebook friends of mine. Uh, let's see. What else? Anyway, you might want to consider looking at the description and considering that. Anyway, I just wanted to touch base on a few things today in this revlog, and I've, I've done that. I'm going to get out one day this week and finish picking the rest of my zinnias that are dried up out there before it comes up hard freeze to kill off everything out there. Maybe next year we'll do better on our zinnia patch. And I've got a lot of trimming to do around my bird feeder and stuff out there and get it winterized for the winter, take it down. I wouldn't want to leave it up and have it freeze. So not a lot going on in today's vlog other than I wanted to thank my friends and mention the link. Uh, for a worthy cause. Anyway, I'll try not to make this video too drawn out today. Uh, I do know that Halloween is coming up. I hope you all are ready for the little trick-or-treaters when they come knocking on your door. So we're so far in the country, we very, very seldom ever get a trick-or-treater. But we usually have some candy laying around here somewhere that we could accom accommodate them if they do. Uh, it's different out in the country. The trick-or-treaters don't can't exactly walk them down the highway. Anyway, I'm wishing all my viewers well. And I hope you have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and I appreciate all my recent viewers and recent. I've had a lot of recent subscribers due to the fact that I've been doing some what they call YouTube short videos. Most of them don't get a whole lot of views. I had one the other day. Got 5,700 views in two days. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's just a train going by. Anyway, I want to thank all my recent subscribers. And uh, I got a notice from YouTube said I've been doing pretty good on increased viewers. And that was good to say. Good. Uh, that was nice of them to mention that. So don't forget reach down there and click like it helps me out and subscribe and click the little bell over there and if you don't know clicking the bell will get you a little email sent every time I upload a video so if you just subscribe and don't click the bell you might not get notified of all the videos that I make. I'll take care, be well far, catch y'all on the next trip. <laughs>